Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy cheap and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These bolos come from members of my Bolo Buddies, Resellers and Thrifters Unite Facebook group. If you guys are not in it, come join and share a bolo. Under the top, there's a featured announcement section. You can share your bolo there. So the first bolo, it says, I bought this bottle brush tree at my local neighborhood relief thrift store last year during Christmas for $2. I honestly had no clue what exactly I had when I put it in my cart. Just thought it was cute. The condition was so good, I didn't know if it was vintage until I got it home and looked at it closer. When I looked it up, I couldn't believe it. It, it took nine months, but sold for 66 plus shipping. I did drop the original price of 70 and gave Watcher an offer of 66 and they took it. My eBay store is Image, Perpe Image Perfect Props. Thanks. There it is, guys. So yeah, the bottle, br bottle brush trees can definitely be a bolo. That is a really nice one. Um, one thing I will say, it probably took a little while to sell because she bought it probably at the end of the season and then people you know, wait until closer to Christmas to start buying Christmas items. With that being said, Christmas sells all year long and I keep all of my holiday items, any holiday, Christmas, um, Thanksgiving, Halloween, all of it listed all year long. Let me know what you guys do down in the comments. This one comes from Doughboy's Treasures. It is a spinner shark drifting knee board, ride on scooter board, red toy, excellent condition. So when you guys share your bolo, if you put in the comment, your social media, if you have YouTube, um, anything, uh, your platforms you sell on, if you include it in the comment, I will mention it in the video. Got this at the Goodwill for $5, sold in two days for $89.96. They were all in for $130.89. So there it is. Looks like a fun one to ship. <laughs> All right. The next one are these. Another fun one to ship. Ping Crazy CGTI Black Dot Putter. It's a putter. It's a golf thing, right? Got this at a yard sale for $5. Had a special grip on it and I knew it was a plus. Sold for $85. I always buy Ping and Callaway brands. Never fails. All right, guys. I That's something else I don't like to ship. But um, if you guys have any tips for shipping golf clubs that you guys want to put down in the comments to help other sellers out, feel free to do that. This is a vintage 1960s Platt portable travel luggage briefcase bar cocktail with key because everybody needs to take their bar with them. Got this at the Goodwill for five. Brand was brand new. I knew it was pretty old and I knew it was pretty old as soon as I saw it. Sold it for 68. All in for 95 on that one. All right. Only recently started picking up collections of children's books when I find them at garage sales. This set was very cheap. Believe my cost of goods was five because they wanted them gone. Took a month to sell on eBay, but went for full asking price of $100. Yeah, this is a good one. I've heard of this one before. Uh, 27 value tale books, Spencer and Johnson, education, homeschooling. So there you go. They're little life lessons for kids. And I have definitely seen this one before. This is not a fluky thing. These do sell. So a hundred bucks on those. Awesome pickup. All right. Now these right here are not big money bolos, but I'm going to explain what they wrote so that you guys understand why they're sharing. This one I'm going to include six links on. I've recently begun diving into selling cookbooks. They're super easy to list and ship. So that's, I love easy to list, easy to ship, easy to find and cheap, right? Uh, let's see. So if you're just starting out and you are a patient seller, want to be a long tail, long tail seller, which means that you buy it cheap and you hold it and you wait for the right buyer, cookbooks are a great thing. If you're not patient, probably not the best thing. Now you may get lucky and find a rare one because there are some that go for big money. It says they are, uh, let's see, the cost of goods is also really cheap. So even when I make bad buys, I don't feel bad about redonating. In the case of these books, they were bought as lots and my cost of goods was certainly under a dollar each, oftentimes under 25 cents in the case of the ones that are like pamphlets from the supermarket. 
I'm usually looking for ones that have interesting specific cooking subject matter, are spiral bound or older than the 70s. Bonus points if it's got cross collectible subject matter, such as sports cookbooks or brewery cookbooks or regional cookbooks. The fewer results that get returned when searching for them on eBay, both listed and sold, the better. Many times I'm the only person selling a specific vintage cookbook. These usually don't sell overnight, but there is probably someone out there who has an entire business model just selling vintage cookbooks as a side hustle. The best places to find them are estate sales, and it's usually the number one spot the estate that estate sale planners overlook. So this one sold for $12.99, and this one's about candy. This one sold for $12.99, and it says 159 met, uh, recipes from Norway. A lot of times also, guys, neat graphics. People will pick these up for junk journaling and different things like that. Uh, so junk journal would be a great thing to put in the title, junk journaling or crafting. What's cooking with the Brewers Wives baseball cookbook? So there's that one, $19.99 on that one. So again, cool pictures. This one, um, our favorite recipes, $29.99 on that. So that one is recipes from St. John's Guild Church Spiral Cookbook. And see, it's old. It is very old. Pretty cool, right? $29.99. That's a great profit. This one is the Hungarian cookbook. And I don't know what they took on this one. And this one is a touch of wine. And what's cool about this is this is just a little, just a little guy. A little pamphlet, guys. And I don't know what it sold for, but took a best offer on that one. This guy right here. Um, all social media, YouTube, Retro Rewinder. I got this at a yard sale on a huge toy buy. I got all kinds of horror and sci-fi related toys from the early 2000s. I paid a total of 400 total. So have maybe five to 10 into this. Sold for 350 for just one toy. So almost made their money back on the one item. Robocop. <laughs> How cool is that? That is rad. All right, let's look at the next one. I picked this knife up at a garage sale for a dollar. Sold for 82. Old knives are an item I always ask if they have. Check out my store, The Junk Guy. So knives are something I do not sell. I don't know anything about them. I thought there's certain rules against certain knives. So just do your research on that. Maybe, I, I don't know. If anybody knows for sure, let me know down in the comments. This is a 1989 Avanti limited edition. It looks like a stuffed animal. Paid a dollar at a yard sale, sold in less than 24 hours for $150. I'm trying to figure out what kind of animal that is. So I don't have the entire title. I apologize. So you guys will just have to use that photo. And I guess, is it a cat? Let me know what kind of animal that is. The next one is this Yamaha home theater receiver. Facebook Marketplace free, sold in two days for $159. Wow, that's awesome. Free. The next item is this vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner? Canister only, no attachments. So it is a replacement part. Um, a good thing to put in the title is replacement part also, guys. But they've got the model number and all of that. Goodwill, $15, sold it for $119.99. So what a great flip. If you sell replacement parts, um, let me know down in the comments. I do a lot of toy replacement parts and um, jewelry even. All right. This one here is an anthropology dress. She said, sold this anthropology, the Maria's printed chiffon maxi dress on Poshmark on the 6th for full price of 150 been listed since february 7th surprised it didn't sell quicker popular style and good size well could be because this is more of a fall dress and it is now coming into that season even though i sell many items out of season paid eight dollars at goodwill 112 profit after fees and cost of goods currently 13 weeks okay so she's just talking about um okay um so poshmark fee they just changed the fees on Poshmark. It used to be 20%. Now it is different. So um, they're kind of doing what Mercari did, but not completely. 
So on Mercari now, there are no fees for the seller. The fees have been pushed off to the buyer. If you are not on Mercari, I definitely recommend checking it out as a seller because you pay no fees. Is this good or bad? Different people have different thoughts on this. Um, from what I understand, most people are okay with it. Things are still selling. Other people are saying that sales have slowed down. Again, it's a big deal for Poshmark. People are saying the same thing. They think it's really going to hurt the sales. So what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. If you're not on Mercari and you would like to join, there is a referral code down below where you will get $10 to shop if you join with that, another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of items. And also on Poshmark, there's a referral link that you will get $10 to shop if you use that. So check out those if you want to sell on these platforms. As most of you know, if you follow me, I use List Perfectly to cross post my items, but you can do so much more than cross posting with it. I've got some other videos linked down in the comments, some different things that are new to list perfectly that I'm using. I just upgraded from the business to the pro plan and opted in for free to the pro plus plan till the end of the year. There's more details in those other videos, but I do have a referral code for list perfectly. Also, you can get $15 to shop. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what not $15 to shop. If you join whatnot with my referral link, come see me on whatnot. Sorry guys. 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. So I don't have tons and tons of referrals, but I will tell you the ones that I use, they're linked down below and I love them. So um, definitely check out the description of the video. But 30% off your first month with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies and the link below for List Perfectly. You can also use that if you're upgrading to a plan that you have never been on before. So if you're on uh, Simple or Business and you want to upgrade to pl uh, Pro, you can use my code as well for that. All right, you guys, let's move on to the next one. This in, this in, this in, talking fast, talking fast and running my words together. This one, I love it because it is so unexpected. It's a sponge, a sponge. Rare Vintage SOS Tuffy Dishwashing Pad Sponge Lot <laughs> from 1990. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, who would have walked past it? That is awesome. It must be a really good sponge, guys. Bought these two vintage sponges at a garage sale for 25 cents. I sell a lot of vintage broken, I'm sorry, vintage bathroom and kitchen products. <laughs> it's a sponge. So I was drawn to them and shocked when I saw how much they go for. Sold within 24 hours for full asking price of $55. Um, it says my family's thrifting channel is Mother Daughter Thrift on YouTube. So check her out on YouTube. And oh my goodness, I am obsessed in this one. What a great bolo. All right, here we go. Paid $5 for three inflatables. This one sold for 56 shipped on eBay with a coupon promotion. Piece of scrap on eBay and YouTube. Definitely check her out, guys. And it is a Halloween inflatable. Always pick those up if I can get them cheap. They are a nice little bolo. The next one is also from Piece of Scrap, and she sells a lot of clothing. So if you guys are into clothing, she's got great bolos. Paid five at Goodwill, sold on Poshmark for 80 plus shipping within weeks of listing. Piece of Scrap also. So it is a Nike reversible puffer vest. All right. The next one is a donkey. It's, um, I don't know how to say this. Baccarat? 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 Crystal donkey. It's an animal figurine, four by five, great for a nativity, right? Listed about five months, found outside of my local thrift shop on a clearance table for five, sold for full asking price of $349.97, took a chance and sold it to someone brand new to eBay with no feedback and it went smoothly. Right here, guys, look, it was on the clearance table, get out of town. So yes, there are a lot of buyers that are brand new. They are looking for specific items and I sell to zero feedback buyers all the time and I will continue to uh, do that. A lot of people will block zero feedback buyers, which I think is not a good choice because there are collectors out there and they will use Google Lens or they will find you on Google and they may not have an account. I mean, we are all new at some point, right? Now, are there bad buyers? And sometimes I, I don't remember what it was, but there have been things that I have listed and they saw sell multiple times with non-payment. And it's usually like the same type of items. It's been a while since that has happened. 
But um, let me know if you guys ever have that happen. It's like a certain thing. And it's just, I don't know if they like are trying to up the bid. I don't know what it is. But anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm on Whatnot a lot. So I hope you guys will come hang out. It's kind of like being at a live show. You have a live chat. You can chit chat with everyone and hang out. So even if you're really not interested in buying, I do a lot of... um untanglings. So it's fun to watch and just engage with the chat and meet new people. So I hope you guys will come over and maybe you'll find something you like that you can resell or um, keep to use. Uh, most items start at $5 or less. That's kind of my thing is to keep things at a low cost for you guys. And uh, again, that referral link is down below. You can get $15 to shop if you join whatnot with that. So hope to see you guys at a show. Lots of laughs, lots of coffee, and lots of fun. Thanks so much for being here. And thanks for watching.